here. We're talking about this wire right here. That is it. Hi everybody and welcome back. If you can remember in the last episode we took the engine out and while the engine's out I thought why not do a proper proper cleaning of the engine bay before we put the new engine in here. We're not going to get into too much detail like we're not going to be worrying about the rust spots and stuff that's in here because there are a lot of imperfections inside this engine bay. Of course I would like to you know sandblast everything get it painted looking really good but I don't really know since we're gonna put a different engine in here we might need to make some brackets and stuff so I'm figuring let's just put the engine in here get everything working get the car working make sure everything's running good and then we can pull the engine out again get all this sorted out and take it from there all right so let's get some stuff out of here I think I'm gonna need a 10 for several things and a normal screwdriver Oh, goo. Oh, Jesus. I was kind of expecting that though. There we go. Let's get all these electrical stuff out. I'm just gonna pull this whole harness out by the side like this because I don't wanna remove it from here because I don't wanna get water into the cabin. So we're just gonna Put this right here for now, and we'll deal with that later. All right, moving on to the other side. Try to get all this stuff out. I don't know if we're gonna be using the original airbox. I don't think so, but I'm not gonna throw any of the parts away until we really know what we want here. Make sure to get the, uh, the grounds. There's a, there's a ground terminal right here, and there's also another one just the same on the other side. Here's the ignition module. Now we're not going to be using that anymore, but I honestly don't know how to get it off because I think it's bolted from the inside of the fender and I can't really get to it right now, so it's just going to have to be there for, one, for right now. I'm just going to get that sealed up a little bit. At least it will keep the big rocks out. And we don't want, don't want anything in the brake booster either. Let's just take that up there real quick. All right, that's the disassembly done. Let's uh, push this car out of here and uh, wash this engine bay. That'll be nice, while there's still some light. All right, so this is what I'm using. This is Valet Pro Citrus and Tar Remover. It's a, uh, it's you know, it's a tar remover, but it's supposed to be a little bit more friendly to the environment. So, uh, yeah, we're just gonna have to see how this goes.
Quite the improvement. Now we need to deal with these wires. Yeah, so we're gonna start by pulling that side out, and then we're gonna pull this side out. Because, you know, I don't want these things dangling here when I'm working and doing all the stuff in the engine bay. I just want these to be gone. And we can put them back later and sort them out. All right, so this is how the inside of the car looks like right now. I've taken a few things off. And I've gotten the glove compartment out, obviously. So what we're going to be doing here is removing the wires that we don't really need. We're going to try to get... Because all the wires coming from the engine bay wind up here. So we want to split this and just pull this entire thing out so we can get rid of that and then we'll sort that out later. I'll probably make a video about that in, uh, in itself because it will be a little bit too much to cover in this one. Okay, so let's start out here. Let's start with this one. Let's get that out of here. There we go. We can pull this out. Uh, let's cut that. I can see that this part right here goes into the engine bay. And that obviously is connected to the ECU, the engine management unit right here. The EMU if you want to call it that, but this is for the fuel. So we call this the fuel box. So this handles only fuel. And then we have an ignition box, which is on the driver's side up at the steering column. We're not going to worry about that now. Okay, so then we have this giant connector right here, and it's quite easy to disconnect. We just have two pins right here, push those in, and you separate the whole thing, like so. Okay, so then we got to see, what, what, what do we have left here? Okay, so we have some positive wires here, because there's a connection at the battery. So we got to get rid of this, and we also got to get rid of this there's a connector right here that goes to seems to go into the door i don't know why that goes okay so it's connected here all right so i think that would be easier to just disconnect here let's see how we're gonna get this out of here um Okay, I see now it's got pins right here, so all we need to do is push these out. Just be gentle, don't force anything. This is <laughs> very soft plastic. There we go. Now that pops out. Now we've gotten rid of almost everything. Now we just have these two right here that need to go. So we need to open this up. So we're gonna take a look at this, see how we can open that up. Seems to be something like that. Perhaps? No? Alright. Okay, it doesn't open like that. Doesn't seem to open like that. Maybe it's a sliding thing. Yeah, it's probably a sliding thing. We pull this down. And we should be able to slide this upwards. This is probably not meant to be used several times. There you go. And you have these two big ones. You can actually pull that out. Pull this off. Like I said, it was, it was a long time ago I did this. But, you know, it's a, it's a brick, so it's kind of easy. All right, we've gotten those off. Let's remember that we took those off, because I don't think anything in this car will work without them. Let's slide this back on here so we know where it is. There you go. Put that back. And now we have disassembled the whole thing here. I'm going to go into the uh, engine bay and try to pull on this and we'll see what happens. Okay, so that's about as far as I got. Obviously, because everything's stuck here. Tight. Everything's 
send everything in there. So I think the action's over in here. Let's hop into the engine bay instead. Okay, so we just pull these out. One by one, there goes the battery. Positive terminal. There's the big one. We don't want that right now. Let's try to get this EMU, engine management unit stuff. Here we go. And here comes that oh, harness. There we go. Harness out. Complete. So what we're going to have to do is separate, you know, the light stuff. The stuff that goes to all the lights, we're gonna have to separate that from the engine stuff, which is the majority of these wires. But let's put that over here for now and continue on with the other side. So we need to remove this panel right here under the steering column and it's held in place by three of these Torx, uh, not 25. Okay, so it's Torx 30. Pull it straight out. There you go. Okay, so let's dive in here and take a look. Pop under here. Over here is the ignition module. It's right over here. I hope you guys can see it. It sits right here. It's called the EZK116. So we're gonna get that removed. And then we have the big harness coming out right here, just like on the other side. We have this huge harness right here where, where everything goes into, so we're going to open this up. And we're basically going to be doing the same thing, we're just going to be pulling wires until we uh, get the harness out. Let's see now, why does this go around here like a freaking... That is tight on there. Why would they do that? What does that even... Where does that even go to? Oh, it's nothing. It's not a wire. It's a... It's a holder in thingy. Okay, so we got that loose. Oh, here comes another one. Alright, so see. Okay, so here we go. Now you can see... Can you guys see that? Hopefully you can. This is the harness that goes into the engine bay. Here we have something else. Don't know why that goes into nothing here. Not really sure where that goes. So you have the ignition right here. This is all the ignition stuff. We're gonna get that too. Get rid of that. there we have the ignition module right here pull that off we can do this big harness right here it's just like on the other side push those in open it up pop it off this one's a lot easier because we don't have a lot of other stuff in it so now that's loose That's loose. Now it's just a question of this other wire right here. What is this and what does it go to? Hope you guys can see this. Uh, we're talking about this wire right here. And it kind of goes into the uh, oblivion there. I'm not really sure where that goes. All right, so I've been doing some thinking here and uh, I've come to a conclusion. Okay, so I'm colorblind, so don't <laughs> don't kill me if I get this wrong. But this green one right here, and this black one, goes to the side blinkers. And this black and white one, and the red and black one, I hope that's right. Could be brown, I don't know. I think these two go to the door opening sensor. And this bundle right here goes to the wipers. That is my theory. The only way to confirm it is to uh, get to the wiper engine, I guess. So uh, let's do that. 
All right, so to get to the wiper engine, we have three bolts. We have a 10 millimeter right here. We have a 10 millimeter right here. And we have another one over there. And we also need to remove the windshield wipers, of course. So let's start with the windshield wipers. Okay, so let's start with popping these off. Right here, we have a 13. Screw these off. There you go. I'm gonna pull this off as well. Pull that off. Undo these bolts. I'm not sure you need to remove this one, but I'm gonna do it anyway. do we have here? A connector. I can't believe that these connectors actually work as good as they do. I mean there's basically no corrosion on these even though they're completely exposed to the environment. I guess there's a little bit of a seal in there but I mean it's nothing like today's but it still works. Okay, so there's one more thing we gotta do, obviously, before we move on here. And that is to remove this door sensor. Well, sensor and sensor, I don't know, it's more like a button. It tells you if the door is open or not. We unplug that. Like so. I don't know how you're supposed to get that back in there, but well okay so here's the wires should be able to pull this out now no problem pull that out this is to the door yeah i gotta disconnect the blinkers so it's this one i'm talking about I don't know if all countries have these side blinkers. I don't know if America has it, for example, but... Ooh. Oh, that's got silicone on it. All right, pop that in there. Hopefully we can get this out now. I don't know how you're supposed to get that back out there, but... I guess we'll deal with that later. All right. So now... All disconnected, at least the top one. Uh, this is for the uh, this wire right here is extra. This one's broken. That's probably something someone else has put there. That's not something that is stock. Let's get this yank that out. But the, this wire right here is to the uh, ex what do you call it? Auxiliary lights. I think you call it auxiliary lights. Like the the two I haven't had in the front. So this is all this is this is actually this is extra. So this is extra equipment. Nice. Now I have one extra equipment on this car. So let's push this harness out. There we go. Now we can pull it out. Let's get this out of here. Let's see. It splits into two. So this one right here goes to the button, obviously. Let's see if we can remove that without having to remove. Did I pull it out? Oh, what did I pull out now? I pulled something else out. There we go. Must have pulled out the uh, <laughs> the rear fog light. Yeah, I pulled out the rear fog light. Oh crap. Put that on there again. Ah, here we go. 
And then the other part of the wire, I would guess, goes to the uh, relay central, which is right there. So let's see if it does that. All right, so here's the relay central. I can see the wire coming in here. And it goes to this relay right here. Let's just pop that off. Uh, let's get some pins here. Let's push those in. We just pulled the ground and the power. The power came from fuse number three and the ground. Ground was a common ground located right here with a bunch of other grounds. Okay, so then we have the control wire right here and we're just gonna be pulling this off. It is uh, fuse number 18, which I am guessing is the headlight. Yep. Upper beams. Relay auxiliary lamps. It even says it right on here. That's really nice. So, let's just pull this number four out. And there we go. Now this is disconnected and we can pull it out. We're going to be dealing a lot with this... Uh, relay central here. I think it's just lovely. It's easy. And if you want more relays, just pop them in. We can put into, yeah, well, we can put five relays into here now. These ones are kind of special, but yeah, we can put those in there as well, if we'd like to. We also have an empty one right here. Don't know what that goes to. Yeah, I'm not going to look into that now. Maybe it's fog lights or something. Let's pull this out. All right. Let's keep pulling this out. Oh, here we go. This isn't pulled out all the way. Sloppy, sloppy mechanic at Volvo. Bye bye, auxiliary lights. Bye bye. So while I'm in here, I'm just gonna get the throttle wire. Since we're not gonna be running with a manual throttle wire, we might as well remove it. We're going to need a different gas pedal. There we go. Get that out of here. Get out. You just pop out of there. A little bit. There we go. Get that side out. All right, that's all I have for you today. So, uh, if you liked it, don't forget to press that thumbs up button. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys next week when we do something else with this build. Yeah, have a good one and uh, hot again. Hi.